Hi, I'm Jacob from Refactory and today I'm going to show you how to automate KH dosing with automation actions for the KH Keeper Plus and the dosing pump. KH is one of the most important but simultaneously the fastest changing parameter in a marine aquarium. Its stable and appropriate level is crucial to create ideal parameters for the animals in the aquarium. Actions is a function in Smart Reef that by combining the results of carbonate hardness measured by KH Keeper Plus after each measurement corrects the dose supplemented by dosing pump. The functionality can be applied both to a single pump and KH alone or for a set of pumps in the case of supplementation by the balling method, since most manufacturers recommend supplementation of all fluid components in equal proportions. You need KH Keeper Plus and dosing pump devices in any version, single, X3, X4 or Pro to run the campaign. Importantly, all devices must be assigned to the same aquarium and updated to the latest software version 0.5.4 or a higher one. This is crucial for the function to work properly. Another necessary aspect is to set up a basing dosing schedule for your dosing pump as the basis for starting the automation. Please note, for the greatest accuracy in the operation of automatic actions, the number of KH measurements should be adjusted to the number of dosings per day since the next dose after the measurement taken is always corrected. In the case of measurements done less frequently than by the hour for the best results, it is recommended that dosing occurs one hour after measurements are taken. For the purposes of this video, we set the measurement schedule to two hour intervals starting at midnight and the three part balling dosing schedule is 48 milliliters in 12 doses of 4 milliliters with supplementation every two hours starting at 1 a.m. with a five minute shift between pumps. Go to the actions tab in your aquarium panel and select add action. Then indicate the measuring device on the basis of which automatic actions are performed. Also indicate the condition that is necessary to meet and then indicate the device that is to perform the action as well as the action to be performed. The number and range of automatic actions can be created depending on the advancement of the stock we have in the tank, the stability of the parameters and the effects we want to achieve. The most basic action rules are limited to one additional action for too low KH and one additional action to reduce dosage for too high KH. We can also create more advanced rules that take into account larger fluctuations and multiple automatic actions depending on the amount of change in KH. Together, we will create more advanced rules for a target KH in the range of 8 to 8.1 with additional protection in case of lack of reagent. Adjust the KH values and percent of change to suit your needs. And if your KH deviates significantly from the target, change it gradually. In this case, similar to before, create further rules for the range below 8 using the between function. For example, KH between 7.9 and 7.99 of additional dosage percentage increases the last dosage by 10%. KH between 7.8 and 7.89 of additional dosing percentage increases the last dosing by 25%. KH between 7.7 .7 and 7.79 of additional dosing percentage increases the last dosing by 50%. Similarly, set the changes for the range above 8.1 KH. For example, KH between 8.11 and 8.2 skip part of the next dosage by 10%. KH between 8.21 and 8.3 skip part of the next dose by 25%. Whereas KH between 8.31 and 8.4 skip part of the next dose by 100% so that the entire dose is skipped. If you happen to forget to refill the reagent, 
despite notifications about the aiding reagent, it is worth protecting yourself with the skip dose change function. In this case, KH Keeper Plus will display a limit value of 5 or 15 KH. So the KH Keeper does not apply the standard automatic actions. We can set such a function. KH below 5.01, additional dosage 0, and KH above 14.99, additional dosage 0. In this way, we created automatic actions for one dosing pump. If you want to supplement 2, 3 or 4 partial bulling, follow the same procedure sequentially, indicating all pumps feeding supplements. And the dosing of all will be automated based on KH measurements. Please note, this function should only be used in stabilized systems, where consumption of all liquid elements is even. We can check the work of the automated actions and what actions were applied in the Actions tab after clicking the History button. Here you can see the date, time, the action that was used and a red or green marker indicating the course of the action. For example, when the device loses internet connection at the time when the action should have been applied, you will see a red icon indicating that the rule has not been applied. A notification will be sent to your phone and dosing will be carried out according to the dosing pump schedule with the automatic action omitted. All right, that's all you need when it comes to setting up automatic actions for KH Keeper Plus and dosing pump. In case of further questions or doubts, please contact our technical support department by emailing support at refactory.com or through the support tab on refactory.com. If you found this video useful, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. We also welcome you very much to join our Refactory family on Facebook. See you there!